really quick review on the Timo driver or dryer, Timo dryer, air dryer. All right, so went on, did a like a little quick Google search for the Gamma dryer. I saw one at Atlanta Barber, held it. I really like the way it feels in the hand. It's nice and lightweight. A lot of power coming out of it. So went on to like try to see how much they're going for, and anywhere from like three to four hundred bucks, which is crazy. This is about half the price of that, depending on where you get it, what have you. So a few things I don't like about it. I'm just going to point out. I wish it had a little bit longer cord. It's not bad, but it's almost too short, depending on where you are, where you plug in, where your station is. Feels pretty good in the hand, nice and lightweight and such. Feels pretty durable. This right here, I don't know if this is supposed to come off or what, but see how that comes up like that, kind of on the... Maybe it's supposed to come off to clean it or something, which would make some sense. But it's kind of cheap feeling right there. Not a huge deal. Um, see if I can't get it to connect. There it goes. All right. Here's what I really don't like, especially when using the diffuser. If I wanted a diffuser for certain styles. You know, you're going around. This thing is a, it's magnetic, but it's not strong enough. I mean, look how... A little bit of pressure knocks that off. I've knocked this thing off four times using it on one client. It's crazy. There should be a way to lock it in or something, and it's not. Magnet is cool, but it's not strong enough to hold it. It should, you know, give me a little half twist lock or something to where, where I'm not going to, oops, knock it over. Especially with that short cord you're fighting with. But, it, you know, I was reaching around somebody, hit their elbow, and it falls off. And i got to take this, disinfect it, wait the whole process. Don't like that. With the reducer, it's not as bad. See, it takes a little more force to get that off. Don't think you're really going to knock that off a whole lot. Um, and it's lighter, so it's not something protruding out and everything. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> and I kind of wanted to have it magnetic anyway until I got it. I'm like, I don't know. Here's what I really don't like. See how long it took it to come on? One, two. It's just gonna taste getting used to. I'd rather have a click switch or just push it and go. That doesn't happen. So it's put one, two, a couple of seconds. Doesn't seem like a lot, but I mean, like if you're using it to like blow someone, you know, uh, shoulders off, something like that. One, two. I mean, that's a few seconds you're adding each day to each cut waiting on that I'd rather just have it clicking on clicking off or pushing on and push it off now 140 degrees change the temperature that's the lowest heat setting that's the highest heat setting at 210 and this is the cool setting you have your fan setting which was the three dots there Three. Definitely moved some air. It has the same CFM ratings or whatever, uh, you know, ratings as the Gamma Dryer. I don't know without having one here to compare them side by side if one is more forceful than the other. Based off of memory, I kind of feel like maybe the Gamma had a little more thrust of air, especially at the beginning. I could be wrong. I don't know. Is it worth it to spend more than twice the price? For me, no. I don't use a dryer enough for that to matter. All right. So this does kind of bug me. I really wish. I mean, look at that. That's ridiculous. And that's the main reason I wanted to get this too was because it had a diffuser that came with it and everything. I think the Gamma probably does as well, but that was this was a selling point and it's a piece of crap, you know, in the way that it operates. Um, I may just get like a universal one that's a rubber mount to sit on there. That'd probably be better. Um, other than that, that's all I got. Timo, dryer. Um, if you don't need a diffuser, I mean, you know, can I recommend it? Yeah, it, it does pretty well with the drying here. You know, not bad. It comes with a lot. The packaging is phenomenal. I mean, it comes with like this little purse looking thing that I'll never use. Um, came with you know a really fancy box um, all this pretty packaging it's like well maybe not spend so much on the packaging and work on that plus it's real hard plasticky as well 
I don't know. We'll see you.